Hey guys, welcome back. It's Graham with another video of Raider Shadows. Today we are going to talk about 3 vs 3 um, and I'm just going to explain a little bit. Um, recently want to thank everyone for the comments. It's very nice for the comments and obviously taking the feedback for the videos to make it a bit more educational but not too boring. Um, and again, I also apologize how I wasn't able to post goal two video because I was away on holiday and the laptop wasn't able to record and stuff like that. So I wasn't able to get a video out. However, um, I want to make this short and sweet. I was doing a recording the other day and I was trying to get the defenses built in the video. However, it makes the video one hour long and I don't mind posting long videos, but I do feel that 30 minutes is enough. Um, so I've actually edited out but what I am gonna do is I think it's gonna be better if I break down the teams more in a different video so I'm gonna showcase each team on my arena um, on my arena way more so as you can see I use a, a large selection of champions for arena uh, these are pretty much most of them uh, and as you can see, you have enough Duchess and Kaima with different types of builds. Again, um, having giving me more options in the future. Um, so um, yeah, you know, in the end of the day, I want to make it more simple. So we're going to showcase each team in its own video. So keep an eye on my YouTube channel uh, for that. And if you're interested in the builds, if you're interested in education, how to use as teams. And what I'm looking for when I use these teams, I will show you in Classic Arena. We'll probably take them high level, goal five, maybe even platinum, and we'll test them. You know, they're three versus three teams. They're not plat level teams for speed farming or anything like that. However, I do feel that this will be a better way of showcasing these teams. I am going to go uh, and show you the recordings of gold five. Uh, I do want to quickly just show you guys. Um, my defense log after the weekend um, um, and uh, just show you guys how my defense performed after I did the record on the video on Saturday um, so uh, bear in a second just gonna post more screenshot in discord oh wrong discord to send to someone else uh, and then we're gonna get into the video right uh, so as this week was gold three, we did make gold four. Um, however, you know um, it was a interesting journey. I lost quite a few this week on offense, mainly just because I'm bringing in new champions. I'm playing with new teams, uh, and I'm trying to maximize from and just learn, just learn new stuff really. Uh, changing build, changing gear on people, and just, just trying out different things recently brought a bomb team in I've recently built in a mighty Hugo team option I've brought in more store teams I have a stone skin team there's a lot going on in my account for arena and I will break this down in different videos so hit that subscribe button hit that like and comment let me know down in the bottom what video, what team you're looking forward to seeing the most and how I should break it down and what teams that you're enjoying in free vs free or if there's any champions you would like for me to break down and showcase for arena i'm really interested to do more arena videos it's what i enjoy and that's i think that's one of the areas people struggle in a lot and lately i do a lot of hydra as well because people struggle in hydra so again uh let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see however let's get into this so i'm going to bring this over quickly uh, and as you can see <clears throat> Uh, the defense is did really well like the last team here was so impressive and you'll see in the video and how impressive it did and again you know did really well here and uh, I lost a void but void is a has an insane account is an insane player so for sure um, as you can see plat avatar top 10 so he should easily demolish my, my defenses I did change my defense uh, after this and as you can see I got bombed on the full stone skin team I was saying in my stream uh, on Saturday on Twitch that you know 
whereas no one bombed it, someone actually did. And I was actually happy when someone did. And then you can see that the middle team performed a little bit better. Um, so yeah, um, good defense. Obviously, one more defenses like that. Really high percentage defenses. Two ones. I don't mind losing two one because, as you can see, two one. Uh, I lose hardly any points. So you know, it doesn't matter if you do enough offense fights. You know, you're pretty fine. I will do one more video this week in Gold 5, sorry, Gold 4 for free versus free arena. And I'll release this on the weekend, maybe early next week, going over that. And hopefully there will be a plat video uh, there as well. Um, yeah, so let's get into this recording. I've broke it down. I have edited it as much as possible. And then it, the builds and stuff like that um, will be in a different video. I think that's the best way of me doing a bit about posting a one and a half hour video uh, I hope you guys like it um, you know let me down know in the comments and yeah make sure you subscribe and help that uh, support the channel um, look out for the hydro videos as well so uh, we're gonna be a bit more uh, tactical uh, DK DK I actually know it used to be claw but everyone moved over to OG when claw um, closes rank so we've got quite a few people here to choose from uh, the one person that stands out to me actually is this guy he has three hedges three hedges not really a good defense when you're this high up I think you're better off separating them so um, for me it kind of makes them look a bit weaker so we're gonna go speed against speed I'm gonna try and hedge him and then I've got my own warlord my warlord's very fast and we're gonna bring in um Leo just in case they get attack off me. Uh and then at the top at the top's pretty easy, you just need like a big shield, so uh annoy Chris Cardi or I like the way or Skyjet Shaman, etc. So we're bringing my Tormund because they're quite squishy. Um So that looks good. And then at the top here we're gonna bring in my go second, which would be uh, Duchess, we have Chris Ginnair. There is no um, Polly, so I don't need to worry about sheeps. So I can literally come in with Kaima. I'll probably bring in Baron as well. And then, to be honest, I think we could come in with Madam or another Nuka. Uh, so I think we're going to come in with another Nuka. If I'm honest, mm. yeah, so that will be decent. Actually, we're gonna come in with Ultimate Death Knight just to uh, protect myself a little bit from round two. Mm -hmm. So, hopefully, I'd like to take this one uh, free now. Uh, I've got enough points already, I should be already in three versus three. So, ideally, I could skip this, but. Um, I mean, there's no point missing out the the faction war keys, right? So this should be a easy, easy, um, easy one nil for me. So there's one. Mm. So obviously, when I'm using a torments, I'm only looking for Termita, like Arbiter, Lissandra. Kimmy, uh, or them, or something squishy uh, for that type of team. So normally I use it against speed teams. However, hedges that will work well as well. Uh, so Chris is going to do his thing. The team is slightly faster than me, which I wasn't expecting. And then, um, yeah, we want to avoid hitting round two as much as possible. Chris is gone. Which is good means uh, we don't need to worry about ally protection and then we're just gonna reset should be able to clean this up really after this uh, again not the greatest go second team in the world Macab is obviously at the moment quite meta but uh, nothing too special so ultimate death knight stop in um, 
his passive there, which is why I put him in there as slow as possible. And then it's just a case of it cleaning this up. So, mm. ideally, not playing romantic too much. Hey, Simon, how you doing, buddy? Mm. Hey, Tim, how you doing? Mm, sleeping there. Hopefully, we can finish them off here. We don't. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, hey, Nick, how you doing? So that's 2 now. Pretty easy so far. This team has a chance to beat me. Um, obviously, if I get resisted on Warlord or something like that, it could cause me a problem. So, there's no more really to that. Once I lock him out, um, I could have used, also, I could have used Tormen, the double Tormen team against this team, which is where I would normally use, because it's a little bit safer than the Hedgy and. Uh, Warlord in my opinion because there's no uh, immunity and even if there's immunity most of the time I win so that's 1-0 against one position I'm going to be a bit picky today I want to do 5 fights and I think it's about quantity over quality uh, sorry uh, qu quantity over so quality over quantity so um, obviously if I can get more wins um, with the three nails, so uh, two ones, it's less less battling for points. So uh, again, we have a hedge in here. Uh, Arb and Lissandra because they're both post turn meters, perfect for um, for my torments. Can he be can be a bit of a tank, but uh, Chris should be able to protect us. Um, at the top, we have uh, Matum Carb. So we are just going to swap out these nukas. We're going to bring in Duchess and Ultimate Death Knight. And then we shouldn't have to struggle too much. I think we'll bring in uh, Gaile and Rodas, which is what I tend to deal with that type of team. Uh, there's, no, oh, there's one poly here, so this one's a little bit difficult. Um, so we're going to bring in... Brogni. So it's going to be a stone skin team, and I need to take it out pretty quickly. So, um, something like that, but normally I have Ultimate Death Knight here. So, I think we'll bring in Foley maybe. Try to get the nuke, get it over and done with pretty fastly. Hey, Nominus, how are you doing, buddy? <coughs> So yeah, defense going well. I will go over the champions in this video for um, for the defense. So obviously, uh, De Ultimate Death Knight, absolute beast against single target nukas. He can be alright against Makar, but not amazing against Makar. But he's amazing against Rodas. So ideally, I want to take Duchess out, but I uh, can't because they're stone skin. So I'm not even gonna try. I will try and take up this guy. So uh, we don't get him, unfortunately. Just get an A1 with uh, Rodus there. Mm. So with Macab, I try not to use AOE nukas now against Macab because it just uh, more times you hit in, the more chance you get off the passive. So I just try not to hit him at all until I can kill him. Mm. So we can go for uh, for Duchess there. Again, we get protected from the stone skin. Nothing to worry about except for the provoke, which is a bit annoying. Mm. Yeah, so she's got a bit of damage there. I'm hoping we can clean out Duchess in a second with Rodas. Nearly. Mm -hmm. So we also have a bolster. So bolster sets on Duchess. You can see it's still up on Ultimate Death Knight right now. So it does help a little bit. So we're going to use this one for Rodas. Because it's a multi hitter. 
So there's a passive coming on there, stopping him being killed. Which is a bit of a shame. And then we're A1 uh, Duchess. We'll put the veils back up. Again, we don't want to use the A2 because we don't even want to hit Macabre. So that's why I'm not doing A2. And then which one here? We will get extra turn if if it's like full heal maybe. I think we can take him out. We do. And then we'll take out Macabre with the A3. And then clean up Rodus against Rodus there. Uh, simple but effective. Um, I'm going to allow us to get the. So we've got Bolster set, which could be a bit annoying. We're going to try and hit uh, Thingy. We don't get him. Yannick is a bit slow. So I think we'll try and take out him. Nope. Bit annoying. Because of the passive. We won't do the AoE. It's not a good idea to do that. Mm, try and get some truth. Oh, I've got sheep. Okay, so he's gone, which makes it it makes my life way easier now. Obviously, there's still a lot of down, uh, threat here with Venus up, but now it's just a case of just cleaning up. So, what you using? What you using? Simple. What do you mean, uh, Nominus? What am I using? Hey, I see. What are you using? Simple. Okay, so that's 2 0. So, it, no immunity, as you can see. Edgy goes, doesn't really cause me any trouble. Candy will get a chance to nuke, but uh, bolster on top of a shield from Chris Passive really nice. And then I'm gonna, just going to chip away at this team. Uh, don't we need to really worry about anything. There's nothing really threatening in here. Hey Tall, how you doing buddy? Just twist his dick. Uh, Tall, I thought you were streaming. Um, we're, out, we're out here chilling. And then we remove this with Perry here. So that'll be 2 now. You forgot to charge your headset, so that's why you're not streaming. Hmm. Oh, I didn't realise he was a mad player as well. Uh, on it, if I'm honest, I'm a little bit surprised with the defence. Didn't seem that impressive. So, okay, so a little bit more dangerous here. We've got speed t two t speed teams. Uh, honestly, could risk it. I could just skip him. Uh, which I think is what I was going to do, because like we could A1 Hedgy here. Uh, but if his Hedgy's faster than mine, it could cause a bit of issue. Kaima. Honestly, if I was using the new Kaimar build, which I got on the way, which I hopefully could showcase next week, I could beat him pretty easily because I could go uh, anti Warlord here with my Kaimar, um, and then just do a reset and go full Stow Skin team, and I would win it pretty easily. Um, but I'm not going to go max out a, a whole team because I need to build that Duchess as well. Uh, at the top. We've got some interesting teams. We know that we can stop him hitting twice with Bolster. So, um, again, Krisk will come in. Um, we have increased speed here. We have increased speed here. So, if it's not immunity, this is a perfect for Double Tormen. We have uh, Mr. Clown, which I like to call him Mr. Clown because it's RNG. Just use three Magnus, easy win. Imagine having three Magdas maxed out. Uh, so we have a Rodus in here, so Auto Death Knight kind of fits in. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. 
thinking mm, we're bringing my Romantu, not Mirantu. We're going to bring him in to cause a little bit of how. And I'll bring my Rose in. And then here, again, could go possibly go Stoskin. It's got a couple of sheep to be careful of. Uh, I am actually going to use um, Buffalo there. And then we could come in with Arbiter. Um, no, we have come in with Duchess. So, Duchess. We've got Cardi at the top, so. Um, weather will come in. And we need a strong AOE Nuka, so. It's going to be Baron. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, different room this time, or just different angle? Uh, no, it's just it's like the camera is just slightly bigger uh, because it's, this is like what I normally record from hype for YouTube. It's a bit clearer to do the recording from. I'm actually going to bring in Leo here over Baron. Mm. Or maybe we go double nuke. Yeah, maybe we go double nuke. That should be alright. And then one, two. And then bolster. So we're bringing some extra protection. I'm hoping we'll be okay against Macab. It's going to be a stone skin. Could have also gone bomb, maybe. It's a bit risky with my um, father there. Uh, different defense, different angle. We never see the TV. Oh wow, he's bash out. Was, oh, because increase increased accuracy. So this one might be interesting. Okay, there's uh, the, d the damage dealer gone. Makes makes my life way easier. Mm. I thought he had a single. I do have a single. Oh, I think it looks more zoomed in. Because, it, I don't know. Maybe it just looks more zoomed in. Might be a different uh, angle. Uh, it's not a different angle because I'm not moved the camera. Of course, I have the faster man too. Ooh. It's a shame that guy doesn't hit harder. Let's get around uh, Rose into this game. So, um, obviously, I want to take out Damage Dealer uh, as soon as possible because Rodus is Rodus. However, I do feel Ultimate Death Knight will hold it. So we're going to use... I think Cardio could be a dangerous one. Or um, Mighty Hugo. But he gets sheeped, so that buys me a bit of time. Uh, Brass Clat got to save someone. What do you mean? Hmm... That's his thing. Oh yeah, yeah. I kind of already knew that, but it's it hasn't got a cooldown, right? He's meant to be like the budget version of Necrid. Mm. It's gonna be have to be patient. It's an annoying team, but mm -mm. Cardio coming in with the AOE. Mm. 
Love it. That cardio is fast. Mm. I do want to take out cardio at some point. Okay, so we got a provoke there. Can we get control of this? Oh, shit, stun me again. I'm out of fucking issues here. Keeps getting cleansed and everything. That Rodus is some weak source, only cardio is only healed him by 3.9k attack. Um, well, I need to chance here. I need a chance for my Rodus to take a turn because right now he's getting stunned. Mm -mm -mm. Or provoked. Uh, I feel like I had to use that. Come on. Need that cleanse, man. Mm -mm -mm. Finally, you've got some stuns out. Shields. Oop. Cardio, man. Fuck. Literally, then I get stunned, uh, provoked straight after. Uh, okay, we're going to take out this one curve because we keep getting provoked. And then. I kind of want to say we take out cardio afterwards. Mm, go for the revive. Oh, there we are, actually, got him. So, can we what? Can we kill him, maybe? My ultimate death knight's gonna go down in a second. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hex. Okay, come on. Okay, so we're gonna take out the cardio, which we get, and then we're gonna deal with him again. I'm not too sure how I got my two going up. But I won't ask questions. Uh, is it a hundred percent chance? I just had to be patient. Patience is all you need sometimes. It's like this team here. I'm gonna have to be patient against this team. No, nah, that's what I mean. Yeah, it's got RNGs into the fucking ground. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to do any AoEs until um, until Autumn Death Knight I can hit. And it looks like he's slightly faster than me as well. Just hopefully we can stay alive. And then it should be a case of just boink boink. Once I can get a shot in on the Autumn Death Knight. I oh, don't know how he got his passive off there. I didn't do one single hit AOE. Brogney, what, because of the passive? Yeah. Let's just hope he doesn't uh, proc it again. If he does, hopefully he goes for Leo. I love it. So that should soften them up. Mm. Wow. Fuck.
Oh, so Death Knight's good, huh? Yeah, I'm fucked. Mm. Nah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get fucked up here now. There's nothing I can do about this. It's just I feel like Mrantu's passive lately is a hundred percent. And I said this yesterday, like I haven't really struggled against Macabs and forever well, never really struggled against him, but since I've returned, I just feel like he's always procking it. And that's why I come over to single nukers. Mm. He's one of the one champion that's messing me up a lot lately. Because mm. if he gets a block revive out, you, you kind of doom. In fact. Yeah, fuck that. Mm. Okay, so what we got here? We got. Uh, Mirantu. We got. I think we'll be okay here. I don't have her. Mm. But I don't know I struggle against him. It's just like since I returned back from holidays, it's just been a pain in my ass. Mm. Okay, so we've got speed team down the bottom. So to do. do, do. And then along here we'll come in with uh, Arbiter, mm, Kaima, mm -mm -mm. Trunda. There's no sheep set from Rodas, so that's a bit of an interesting one. So we're coming with Warlord here. And we're to lock out the passives. Uh, we do have one sheep I need to be careful of. And then just put in C for here, just case. Uh, well, your Duchess isn't in stone skin anymore. No, well, I've got two. St I've got two Duchess now. Um, so I built one for offense and one for defense. Ah. That's a bit annoying. So um, my offense one is in bolster. And then the defense one which will be slower in stone skin. So. Mm, but I've also built a whole new defense around um, Dutchers because I want three go second teams for uh, my three versus three arena. So two will be Dutchers, the one's full stone skin. And then there's no speed team whatsoever there. Mm -mm -mm. You used to tank to. You used to use her to tank my cub. Yeah, uh, probably that's probably as why I'm feeling the Duchess as well. But uh, my stone skin Duchess will be back next week, so I'm not too worried. No immunity here, which is fairly good. Ah, it's been a bit lucky there. And now we just need to wait this out. Mm -mm -mm. Freeze, baby, freeze. So we're going to strip Leo in a minute if I get a chance. Mm -mm -mm. No, the cooldowns are not ready yet. 
But we do get the freeze anyway. So, yeah. Mm, maybe go for Leo in second. Nice. Easy. Mm, the, so to be fair, like, Miranda used to be a pain here, but since I used to start getting bolster back in there, it's not doing too too bad for me. Mm -mm. And then we just need to get hit off on thingy. We're going to use Chris, use bolster, man. Mm. Must uh, need to test out um, Guardian one day as well. Cool. There's a third one. So what? That's five so far, and I lost one round. So much better than yesterday. Mm. So I think we'll go for a refresh here. I can beat some of them, but I'm just looking for the easy fights. Guardians are dead set now. Hmm, depends. So, just need one more. I want an easy one. We've got here, we've got two speed teams. Mm, Money to fucking hell. Do you think he's misclicked here? Do you think he's misclicked? There's no way he's doing that on purpose. Stole my team. Okay, so, um, you know, the problem is, if I do speed team up here, I don't know if I'm faster. I wonder how fast a see if he is. Dish, dish, dish. You know what we could do actually? We could actually go Valkyrie. I can't remember if my Valkyrie is still built. I'll just check the vault quickly. Mmm. Valkyrie should be in here somewhere. Valk, there we are. So, as long as we don't weak it on A1, we should be fine. So, we'll bring Valkyrie in here. And then, here we'll bring in Hedgy. At the top here, we use Leo. And then here we'll use Trunda. My Baron's a bit too slow for this team. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I don't really have a defense nuke except from Torben. Uh, not convinced here, we hit hard enough. And then here we'll come in with, um, again, uh, Miner versus his. He's a bit dangerous towards Macab though, so we we'll have to be careful. And then I will bring in my Death Knight as well. Mm. Who is this man? Non nuking savage in this meta. What do you mean? Where's my mouse disappear to? Leave my Leo low. And that's why I purposely use fucking Leo. Uh, I should have ate two there. Mm -mm -mm. We use Dutch's free nukers for every team. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Boink. 
Okay, so... Actually looks like I'm faster than him. So we'll do the AoE. Might be missing some gear somewhere. We'll sleep Baron. And then Night Night. Too much accuracy. Kaima doesn't get used in his team a lot. That's why he's not speed tuned. Mm -mm -mm. I normally, for speed team, I normally go um, up, Warlord, and Seafy. Fuck, he's got Ultimate Death Knight in here, and I brought in single Nuka. That's going to be brilliant. Fuck. The moment you realise you fucked up. Might get away with it, we'll have to see. Extra turn please, come on. Oh, he does. And then we'll take out her. So I got a little bit lucky against uh, Death Knight there. We're able to take your stone skin away, so uh, really lucky. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I I always I always um, watch him with his revive because if I know he's done his revive then it looks like it's crashed then I'm not too bad and that's I don't also rely on him for the revive I like rely on him for his CC I mean I, I like when I use him in offense obviously I don't use it that much anyway mm, I think if we could take out Moran too it's a bit of a shame mm. Uh, Roger Ted, thank you for the follow. Okay, so we should be able to take him out. There we are. There we are. Mm. <clears throat> Three now. Okay, so I think I'm not going to go over every single build for um for the video but we are gonna go over my defense uh builds so at the moment defense here um to be honest these are not my strongest defenses um just went with some um just some quirky defenses i wouldn't say they're amazing but they haven't performed too bad so we have mighty hugo obviously he's in position one because of the poly Duchess in bolster, uh, not too fast. Uh, we have a really fast warlord in here to do a re lockout, and then his shields as well, which is not too bad. Stacks on the bolster, and then we have a stone skin, um, uh, stone skin uh, Yannicka. So warlords in here to mainly try and stop them using bombs because, like, if they're not speed tuned properly, then I'll be able to do AOE. Uh, why Yannicka? Because she's a plus four. And she has a crazy build on her, so she does a lot of damage. Also, with Yannicka and Duchess, they have good synergy together because of the veil. So a bit like a candy, but obviously she doesn't have the the passive like a candy. So uh, with two uh, Duchess, I kind of um, like candy with one, and then uh, Duchess with the other. Sorry, uh, Yannick with them. I also don't have a up. Defense 2. This hasn't actually performed that well. Uh, so, fast um high, high resist and touchable cardio. Um, just a accuracy and resist build for Mephala. And a damage dealer on uh, Rodus. So, again, I can make this team a bit better. 
This defense has done pretty well. So we have a Stoskin, um, Rantu with Polly. We have a bolster set on um, on a uh, Brogny, and then we have a Foley in bolster. Sorry, Stone Skin, Stone Skin, and then we have Ultimate Death Knight in Stone Skin with high resist. So we put him in the lead because of his accuracy lead. Um, put him at the back because he's a bolt work. We have bolster here because if he gets stripped, if they strip the stone skin off, then we still have bolster for some protection. And then also, um, the harder he will hit me or hit my defense, the more reflection damage that we'll do to their new car if he's able to get his shields up because it stacks as well. Uh, and then again, can't also be uh, stripped off, so it works quite nice. And as you can see, the the stone skin defense has actually performed the best um, over everything. So we have a negative infinity uh, mountain king that beat us with a torment. Kind of makes sense. Uh, we have uh, Nutcracker who ignores stone skin, uh, and then pretty bad team here. We have Jack uh, probably in bolster to for protection for Trunda and the Hedgy. Uh, no, don't know why you'd use Hedgy against it, but hey ho. Uh, it's probably a new Hedgy to be honest. He probably thought it was just like a um, small type of weird team. We got bombs here, so he actually tried to use the bombs. He tried using um, Halifax as well, but because we got Bolstar, we've been able to stop him doing his AoE twice. So he will only use his AoE once. Um, so he's a two hitter. It has to drop into what uh, fifty percent HP. Then we have Foley in here, but obviously this team's squishy. So if my Foley is gone against his Foley, and then it's just blocked revive him. Uh, so Foley is really squishy. This team's actually not bad, depending on how it's built. Um, so it's looked like he's changed with Magma for someone more tanky. So it looks like I actually got block revive out. Uh, it looks like he's brought in a bolster set as well. But he's used two strip champions and got poly on everyone, even with low level and no fears of presence needed because it's more of a meme team, which has actually done quite well. Uh, and again, Leo here, squishy bomb champion here with increased accuracy and strip. Uh, team team one's actually done really well as well, which has the fast warlord in. So you can see that team one hasn't done as good as team three, but Again, they're not my strongest defenses. I don't want to use the strongest defenses. I know what they are, but they're just not needed right now. Um, so let's go over the defense.